France is a country that we could visit again and again. And in this video, I'll teach you everything you need to know about driving a rental car in France with eight easy steps. From the lights of Paris, to its stunning wine country, to the beaches of the south, there is something there for everyone. You may be thinking that public transportation can take you to most of the major cities, which is true, but we think there's a whole other side to France that is incredible. A local side that most tourists don't get to see. That's why I encourage all of my friends planning a French getaway to rent a car, at least for part of their trip. It's amazing how different an experience you can have by going off the beaten path. That said, we've probably all heard those horror stories of aggressive French drivers, confusing road signs, impossibly narrow roads, and foreigners getting those dreaded tickets and fines. So first things first. Tip number one, know your essence from your gazole. Make sure you know ahead of time what kind of fuel your rental car takes. Diesel is much more common in Europe, so don't assume your car takes gasoline. To make things a little more confusing, diesel in French is gazole, while unleaded gasoline is essence. If you're not sure, there will often be an indicator on your dash or in your gas cap indicating the fuel type. It's always best to ask at the rental agency ahead of time to be sure. Tip number two, it's extremely crucial to also mind your speed and not just where you see cameras. France is sometimes equipped with speed traps that will measure your speed at various places on the route and use those to calculate your average speed. And some roads will even use your GPS signal. Don't get an expensive ticket and always mind the posted speed. And remember, it's in kilometers per hour. Tip number three, be aware that you always yield to a car approaching on your right. This is true even when driving on a straight road and a side road intersects from the right. This is one of the top frustrations for foreign drivers, so be careful. There are also different right of way rules for one lane streets and roundabouts. These are situations you should also be aware of before you go to avoid fines or worse, accidents. Our comprehensive Tripiamo guides, linked in the description, go into these other situations in detail. Tip number four, make sure your vehicle has a displayed crit air assessment, which is essentially an emissions rating for each vehicle. In order to cut down on emissions, there are certain zones called zone circulation Richon that will only allow certain crit ratings during certain times or days of the week. The owner of the vehicle is responsible for this, so your rental agency should have this taken care of. In addition, most newer vehicles have lower ratings, so you shouldn't have to worry about restrictions. Just be mindful of your car's crit rate, air rating and where you plan on driving. Tip number five, know how to read parking signs. Payant means paid parking. However, most Sundays and holidays are free, and in some places, also free during the 12 to 2 p.m. lunch hour. To use this parking, you'll need to pay at a meter, much like you might at home. There is also parking in blue zones, which are usually marked on the pavement with a sign that looks like this. These spaces are free for at least an hour, as long as you have a parking disc, or disc de sensiement. You'll need to indicate the time you parked and display it clearly. Remember to return to your car before your time is up. If your rental agency didn't supply a disc, you can buy one at a tabac. For more details on parking, you'll definitely want to check out our Chirpiamo guide. Before our next tip, if you're finding this video helpful, please drop us a like on this video to help others find this content more easily. Our channel also posts videos on great tips and tricks for traveling across the globe, like how to get a round trip ticket to somewhere like London for under 300 bucks. Yes, I said under $300 round trip. Please subscribe to learn more travel hacks. Tip number six, no distractions while driving. While this is a good practice no matter where you are, the French take distracted driving very seriously. No mobile phone use, even hands-free, and no eating or drinking while driving. Doing so can definitely earn you a ticket. Tip number seven, be prepared to use your horn, but not because you're angry. French drivers will often use their horns to indicate their presence around tight corners. This isn't meant to be aggressive, but it is meant to prevent accidents. Tip number eight, in general, be ready for a more offensive driving style. In addition to their horns, the French are also serious about their right of way and they'll take it. Just know the rules of the road, have a good idea about where you're going and stay alert. That was just a quick overview of some of the top tips you should know before driving in France. That said, there's nothing quite like getting hands-on experience to gain confidence driving abroad. I know the pre-trip anxiety personally as I never felt fully prepared when driving abroad myself. Sure, there are resources online, but none of them felt complete. Many were very dated and nothing made me feel like I was ready to hit the road. 
That's why we created Tripiamo. In addition to a series of informative videos covering everything you'll need to know, with Tripiamo, you'll have the opportunity to try our 360 degree point of view driving tours that give you virtual practice driving in France. The closest you can get to driving practice without actually being behind the wheel. This way, you'll know exactly what to expect as soon as you hit the road, meaning you'll be able to actually enjoy driving and not be nervous about it before your trip starts and the whole time you're traveling. Our guides have been built by travel experts, vetted by European driving schools, and reviewed by countless travelers like yourself that have done it before, ensuring you're getting the complete and accurate picture to avoid all of these mishaps. Tripiamo guides cover everything from driving requirements, to local etiquette, to how to handle emergency situations, and even lots of ways to avoid unnecessary tickets and fines. So if you found this helpful, if you want to limit your chances of getting tickets, and if you're looking for confidence to drive abroad, you should give Tripiamo a try. It will take you only about an hour to go through everything, and then you're set to go. Click the link in the description to access Tripiamo today. We hope you found this video helpful and we wish you a safe and stress-free adventure in France.